What if I were to tell you that there's a Keysight application that you don't even need an instrument for, or any kind of programming experience to use? It's called the Skippy Recorder, and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. Hi, my name is Patrick Mann, and I am an application engineer on the digital and photonics team in Inglewood, Colorado for Keysight Technologies. So let's get started. So in the Flex DCA GUI, we're going to go to Tools, Skippy Programming Tools, Skippy Recorder, and we're going to start a recording. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a feature called Data Sim to simulate a PAM4 signal. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate a dual electrical module by, cl by clicking on the Simulation tab in the Extended Module Configuration window. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this dual electrical simulation module into slot 5, right on top of where the green plus and the green circle is. So now that we have that, I can go ahead and click on the channels, click on the data sim button, make sure that we're using a PAM4 signal, I can change the sample, the pattern, close that, turn on the channel, again this is all simulated so I don't need any actual hardware. I'm going to go ahead and auto scale. In order to do anything in the eye or mask mode of the scope, we're going to go ahead and need to turn on pattern lock to capture an entire pattern. Now we'll go into eye mask mode. So we can see our PAM4 eye. And I've already got a TDEQ equalizer in here, but if you want to go ahead and follow the steps to get to this point, you can click and drag on the TDQ equalizer box, bring it down to the blank canvas here. We can see that our input signal is a light blue input circle here, channel 5A, and our output could be any color we want. If you don't want this pink color, change it to any of these awesome colors here. So now that that's applied, let's go ahead and do a TDQ measurement, a common PAM4 measurement, on both our simulated input and our simulated equalized output. And we see that these measurements appear here. Now, the gorgeous thing about the Skippy Recorder is it's been tracking everything I do, which is really helpful if you don't know the exact Skippy statement or commands to use to get to this point. Or if you just want to automate this routine for later use, if it's something that you're going to do repeatedly. So we've gone through our whole TDEQ measurement routine. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. We can save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it as PAM4 routine, but you can save it as whatever you want. And for easy access, you can choose a directory that's more familiar with you. Go ahead and select Save. And it's been saved. So I can then go into my Documents directory and pull this up for later use. And it saves to a Skippy directory so I can access it easily next time I want to do this same exact routine again. Thanks for watching.